On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. Dear friends, as we celebrate Easter this year, it may seem as if we're coming to the tomb while it is still dark, in the darkness of the world health crisis we're in the midst of. It may seem that the COVID-19 pandemic and all its effects is like a darkness hanging over us. Even Mary of Magdala that first Easter, when she saw the stone was removed from the tomb, was not quite sure what had happened. She thought maybe they had stolen the body of Jesus. Many may feel this Easter that they're not quite sure what has happened. But Jesus' body had not been stolen. He was risen. Mary went to Jesus' disciples, Peter and John, and they too were still unsure what had taken place. But they ran to the tomb. They peered in, and when they went in, they saw the burial cloths of Jesus. While sacred scripture tells us they saw and believed, we're also told they did not yet understand the scripture. He had to rise from the dead. This Easter, in your prayer, I invite you, run to the tomb. Peer in, even go into that empty tomb. In the midst of all we've experienced this Lent, fear and anxiety, sickness and death, isolation and quarantine, loss of jobs and loss of confidence, the removal of so much that is familiar to us, we may not be so sure as to what has happened. We may not fully understand all that has transpired, but there is one thing we can be sure of. The stone was removed from the tomb. Jesus has been raised from the dead. Recall those inspiring words of St. Paul in his letter to the Romans. If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also along with him graciously give us all things? Christ Jesus, who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither things present nor things to come, neither powers nor height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Dear friends, the stone was removed from the tomb. Jesus has been raised from the dead. He lives. He took on all our sins and all our suffering and pain and took it to the cross, which he endured to save us and set us free. This Easter season, no matter what the days ahead may hold, the Lord is risen, and we proclaim him raised from the dead. And he desires us to live not in the darkness, but in the light of his glory. Blessed Easter, Jesus has been raised from the dead.